security number is going to be suspended in next 24 hours for committing some suspicious and fraudulent activities in the state of Texas. Contact us as soon as possible on 541-305-4193 to connect and call to one of our officers. Thank you for calling the Social Security Administration. How can I help you today? I got a voicemail to call this number. Something wrong with my Social Security number in Texas? Your call has been connected to the headquarters office of the Social Security Administration. Who am I speaking with, sir? Can I have your name? Yes, first name is Earl, E-A-R-L. Okay, um, last name? Turlet, T-U-R-L-E-P-T. Okay. And uh, when did you receive the call from our office, sir? 12.07 p.m. Okay. And did you receive any kind of information related to the phone call? Well, yeah. They said there was some wrong, suspicious something in Texas with my Social Security, but I don't know. They didn't say nothing else. Hi. Right, um, just stay on the line for a couple of moments. Let me just go ahead and check on your information. I'll get back to you in this recorded line, okay? Okay. Yes, uh, thank you for holding the line, sir. Yes. Okay, um, I can check here in my system that uh, it was my senior officer from the higher authorities of the Social Security Administration who was trying to contact you, but they are not available at this very point of time. Okay. So I have to go ahead and text on your confidential information from the higher authorities. Okay. I believe uh, you have received a reference number, right? No, there was no. There was no reference number, sir? No, no. All right. Um, uh, you can also simply go ahead and wait for the call date, or if you want to know the reason behind the phone call, then you have to go ahead and identify yourself with your social security number. Well, I want to know what's going on. All right, uh, if in the case, then uh, you have to go ahead and identify yourself with your social security number so that I can go ahead and take some of your information from the higher authorities and let's see what information is updated under your name, okay? Okay. All right, so can you help me out with your social number? 086-101463. Okay. All right, and can you help me out with your data first? 316-1950. 1950, okay. Yes. It will be taking some double up moments for me to go ahead and check on your information. I'll get back in this record of line, just the online line from um, McKay. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you for holding the line, sir. You still in line with me? Yes. Okay. Well, I, I have received an official order from the higher authority for suspending your social audits for a point of time. And the reason why we are suspending your social is because uh, we have found your social compromise in the state of Texas for drug trafficking and money laundering. What? So do you have any knowledge about it? Well, no, I don't have. Well, how would I have knowledge of that? Okay. Uh, just to confirm, did you receive any calls in the past few days from your local sheriff department? No. Okay. Well, see, I will be giving out all the information for you to you, but before I go ahead and give out any confidential and sensitive information, if you ever you don't understand me or if ever you want me to slow it down, feel free to ask me, okay? I will be happy to assist you. Okay. And the second thing is that this is a federal recorded line as well as a federal monitored line. So if I want whatever information you are giving in this recorded line, I want you to be honest and with clearance information. Because at the end of the conversation, I will be submitting our recording to the federal courthouse as evidence, okay? Okay. All right, now, do you have a pen and a paper with you? Let me go ahead and give out some information to you. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So the first information which I am going to provide to you will be my federal batch ID number. In the future, if ever you want a reference, then you can have my batch ID number. Which okay. Is the first letter is the letter S. S like social. S. Okay. The letter A like administration. A. Okay. Seven one. Seven one. Four five. Four five. Eight eight. Eight eight. That's correct. And a case ID number. Okay. Case ID number starts with the letter S. S like S. social. Okay. The letter C like case. C. Social case. Zero zero. 
Zero, zero. 926. 926. That's correct. Okay. I well, believe you have the correct information, right? Well, well, I didn't get your name. What was your name? Yes, my first name is Sarah. It's S A R A H. Last name is Luna. It's L U N A. Luna. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, see, what I'm going to do over here is uh, let me go ahead and read out their legal affidavit, which is registered under your name. I want okay. you to listen to me very carefully I without will. any interruption. Okay. Once I am done reading, I will be giving you a fair enough chance to speak and raise your question till the end, okay? Okay. Now, your affidavit says that your social has been compromised in the state of Texas for drug trafficking and money laundering. All this information has been registered under your name. Thousands of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. Me too. So this is only with a headquarter. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said it seems suspicious to me too, since I'm in New York. Okay. See, all this investigation started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. Okay. The car contained some blood and truck anxiety. Hence, after more investigation, we found out that the car was rented on your name and oh, on your personal social media. What kind of car was it? Not only, that, not only that, we have also recovered another 22 pounds of cocaine, which is highly abusive drug yeah, and some is. comments from some of the institutes, okay. such as Chase Bank, Bank of America, U.S. Bank, and Wells Fargo. Okay. All this information has been registered under your name. All right. Thousands of dollars has been registered. Thousand of dollars has been wired from this bank account locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. Okay. So this is the only reason. With the headquarters Department of Social Security Administration, the state of Texas, as well as the judicial member, has filed a case under your name for truck trafficking as well as money laundering. Yeah. So what is that you have? Wait a minute. Get out. Get out of here. Get those. Cats are going nuts. Okay, go ahead. All right. So, what is that you have to say about it, sir? I uh, what I have, I have to say about what? Episode. Huh? What? Your information is getting involved in the set of taxes for truck trafficking, okay. money laundering, okay. and there is a arrest warrant on your name as well. Arrest warrant for who? Sir, uh, what is that is you is for you, sir. You are a Me? criminal because you are. I'm a, not a criminal. Yes. How can I be a criminal? Then how comes your social information is getting involved in the set of taxes for truck trafficking and money laundering, well, I sir? don't, I don't know. That's your, that's, I, I would think that's there. your job to find that out, not mine. Sir, I know it is a part of our job, but this is your social information, not us, or not me, okay? Yeah, I know it's it not you. It's not me either. Okay. So what are you willing to do right now? Are you, are you ready to hire a federal lawyer by yourself? And federal lawyer for what? Back. Why would I hire a federal lawyer if I didn't do anything? I'm sorry? I didn't do anything wrong. Why would I hire a federal lawyer? Because, sir, your information has been already getting involved in the money laundering and truck trafficking, sir. But it's not me. Okay. Uh, seems like you're having a hard time understanding me. Am I correct? Let me just do one thing. I will be simply connecting your call to the DEA Truck Enforcement Administration. Once you have a conversation with them, they will provide you with more Talking. information and you will have some knowledge. All right. Yeah, let me talk to them. Yeah, okay. Put me through. Like what? Hello. Uh, thanks for holding this line. Your call got connected to Zena Investigating Agent from the DEA. My name is Eric Price. Um, may I know who am I speaking to? Earl. E-A-R-L. Yes, sir. Turlet. T-U-R-L-E-T-T. -T. Earl Turlet. Okay, Earl Turlet. Well, yes. sir... How are you doing today? Okay. Well, I was talking to that Sarah Tuna, and mm -hmm. she said I didn't understand her, but I, I don't know what's going on. Something Sir, about my it? Social Security in Texas, I told her, but I, I'm not in Texas. I'm in New York. Yeah, I know that you were at New York. So, Sir, uh, before I go ahead, is this your case file number that is C. Charlie? I'm mean, sorry, S. Huh? S. Sam, C. S. Charlie. Zero zero nine two six. Yeah, that's me. Okay, so now, sir. What was uh, your last like name, Eric? Her... Eric? I didn't get your last name. It's Price, a like price. a price tag. Price. Price is yeah. right. Okay, I got it. Okay. 
Okay. So see, at this okay. moment, as mm -hmm. we have got your case file, as I can see that you have two cases under your name. One is drug smuggling and another one is money Drugs. laundering. I can't. I'm 70 years old. Why would I be drug smuggling? See, at this moment, we are just uh, assuming that you are the one because it can be a case of identity theft, okay, which is happening all over the states. But as you, as we don't have any kind of evidence which can prove that this is an identity theft issue, we are just investigating to find well, out. Well, I can file a report person. with the police that I, my identity has been stolen. And then that would cover it. And then what I'll do is I'll give you their case number. Well, it doesn't work that way. Oh, because, it doesn't. Uh, mm. No, it How's doesn't it work? work that way. I wonder how it works. You are all, we, are all, we are already investigating in your case paper, and we are the one who is going to find out the actual person who is behind this because this well, case is okay, just for well, go get them. Okay. They're right. in enforcement administration. Okay. So now, uh, as you told me, as the young lady told me, who was explaining yes, to you Sarah about the Tuna, case, yes. what was her name? Sarah Tuna. Can you repeat it? Sarah Tuna. Okay, that's great. Uh, do you have the base ID number? SA7145588. Okay, so now, mm -hmm. now see. If you are willing to cooperate with the department, then I can go ahead and update the courthouse that you are willing to cooperate and you are willing to take out your name from the case file. Yeah, take my name out. You are... Yeah, take it out. Yeah, because I didn't do it, so take it okay. out. And then I guess we're all yeah. set. Well, sir, we cannot just take it out your name oh, from you the can. case paper. We have, to, we have to find out the actual person who is okay. behind all well, of this criminal. How, how am I going to do that? Listen. See, you have to cooperate and you have to let us know that everything under your name should be clear up or not. So we have certain protocols, we have certain procedures which you have to follow in order to take care of this matter. Okay. First of all, we have to cancel the um, old social security number which you have under your name. Well, no. And we have to... Well, no, I don't want that. Everything's under my old one. Everything's under my social security. I, what we are going to do is we are going to huh. suspend the old old social security number and we are going to start a tracking process onto your old social security number. So whenever the culprits, the criminals, try to use your old social security number again for any kind of uh, criminal activities, we can simply track their location and get them behind what? the bars for further investigation. Well, you know what you can do is anybody uses in Texas isn't me, so that's the person you arrest. I mean, that's how you do it. Let's see. No, it doesn't work that way. So oh, see, doesn't. we don't know who is using. We don't know who is using well, your. It's being used social in office. Texas, you said. So if somebody's using yeah. it in Texas, that's the person you want because I'm not in Texas. I'm in New York. Yeah, I know that you are in New York, yes. but my department, they think, they think that you have sold your social security information to some fraudulent people. Why would that's I the sell reason. That don't make any sense either. That's, Who said I sold it? My department is suspecting that. I'm not telling you that you have sold it. Well, that's I the reason, sir, that. why we are calling you, because it can, there can be a chance of you selling your social security information to some fraudulent people and you're getting paid by those people. That's the reason my department is trying to reach you just to confirm. I wonder how much money like that goes for. I don't know. Sorry? I, I don't know how much money you can make doing that, but I didn't do that. I don't know that how much money people can make after selling the social numbers. Yeah, I don't know either. They can, they can make quite enough. Quite, oh, okay. So right now, sir, we have to follow the activation procedure Okay, the investigation procedure, we have to start it. So we have to suspend your old social security number and we have to start a tracking process. And you don't have to be worried because we are going to issue you a new social security number so that you don't face this kind of problem in the future again. Okay? All right, what I got to do here? So f right now, in order to get a new social security number, I have to fill up a form, which is known as Asset Verification Form. It is also known as SS5. SS5, social security huh. five. Okay. Yes. Okay, fill that out, and then let me know what you're going to do. 
Yeah, I have to fill that up, and you okay, have to verify ahead. me each and every, each and every information okay, go ahead. that you. Okay, so uh, yeah. right now, the house where you live currently is it owned by you or it is a rented house? I have to rent. I can't afford to buy a house. Okay, you are renting the house. Yes, it's senior living. And uh, how many? Do you have any car under your name? I got one car. What kind of car is it? 2017 Plymouth Valare. Okay, and um, have you ever visited Texas in these couple of months? No, never been to Texas. Been okay, to Oklahoma. Have you ever rented any car? Been to Oklahoma. They tell me I was born there, but I really can't remember. Have you ever rented any car? Rented a car. Mm. Years ago, a okay. bunch of us rented a car to go on vacation. Bunch of the guys. But that was years ago. Okay. All right. So um, right now, how many bank accounts do you have under your name, sir? One. I can deal with only one bank. Which bank you're banking with? City Bank. T T Bank, right? Yes. Tornado. Yes. Tornado Bank. What? Tornado. Tornado. Okay. What's that mean? Can you spell the name of the bank, please? T I T T Y. Okay. Got it. City Bank. And do you have checking or saving in this account? Both. Do you use any kind of cards like debit or credit? Well, I got a debit card with them. Okay. And how much do you have in your saving and in your checking? On the savings, I got probably 500 Okay. How about the checking? 200 This Is the only amount you have or That's do you have it. any other bank? That's all I get is Social Security. So you don't have any credit cards, right? No, no. They, I had one, and then they took it away because they didn't pay it. They're funny like that. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, um, okay. I thought you were Right now, sir. No, no, no. I'm going to upload this information with the courthouse and with the accounting department. And I'm going to connect your call to the accounting department, and they will just verify this information with you, and oh, they're going to okay. proceed further. So now you have to work with the accounting department. Oh, boy. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. I'm going to connect your call. Okay, connect me the with them. Okay. Thanks for holding the line. Your line has been connected to the senior agent. This is Ron. My first name is Ron. My last name is Parker. How can I help you today? I don't know. He connected me to you. He said I, I had correct. to talk to the accounting department. That's correct. Well, okay. sir, as you have been connected to me for the first time in this federally monitored line, yes. Uh, as we are in a as we are in a law enforcement telecommunication system, oh. I want you to okay. verify me your first name first. What's your first name? Earl. Didn't they tell you? They provided all of the information to okay. me, sir. Okay. Right. And I, as I'm talking to you for the first time, that's the reason I uh, I'm just trying to do my job. All right. Okay. So do your job. Thing. Okay. All right. Errol is your first name. What's your last name? Turlet. T-U-R-L-E-T-T. -T. Earl Turlet. All right. Okay. The last four digits of your social, it's 1463. Is yes, that correct? Yes, that's it. All right. Well, in that case, I want to know what kind of information does the previous officer provided to you, sir? Can you just let me know well, what's going on well, in the first, unit related to you? First, Sarah Tuna said that um, my thing was used, my social security was used in Texas for some reason to run a car. And then they found some blood and drugs. And then uh, All right. uh, Eric Price, he wanted to know w what bank I dealt with and stuff. And I told him that. And then uh, he said, I got to talk to you now. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just being right. sent around so, uh, person to person here. Uh, uh, sir, I understand that, but you also have to understand the situation that it's not a local case anymore, it's a federal case with the well, federal government. Well, yeah, but it seems to like be streamlined somehow where I could just talk to one person, but that's all right. Okay. It's a federal case, so for that reason... Just for well, yeah, I know, a federal a case, they make a big deal out of it, so, yeah, I understand that. Yeah. So, for that reason, uh, right now, I want. I will let let me let me inform you first that what the government is trying to do. Okay. The government wants to terminate the social security number, and they want to proceed further with legal charges. They want to terminate the social number. Yeah, that's what the as other guy said. But I don't want a yeah. new number. I, I like my old number. 
All right, that's your choice. If you want us to provide the old number, we can also do. I mean, we can also arrange that for you. Okay. But what we are trying to do at this point of time is that we want to terminate the social number, and we want we have to start finding the real culprit whenever they try to reuse well, your that's, personal that's information. That's what I told Eric. Again. That he this thing that mine is being it's being used in Texas, and I'm in New York, mm -hmm. so. If anybody uses my social security number in Texas, that's the culprit. That's the guy you want because I'm in New York and he's in Texas. All right. So Why it, you it seems to like a you pretty, pretty our, simple case to our solve. Investigations you don't have to be our no Sherlock Holmes states. here. All right. See, our investigation says the people around you who somehow have an access to your information are the one who's doing this criminal activity. Who's around right. me that would have my – nobody's, nobody's around me that would have my social security information. For example, your local county sheriff department, your bank people, your social the security sheriff's administration. sheriff's department? Then why would they have my social That's security cool. and why would they use it? I will let you know how they can use it okay. and how, how they can get how it. How would the sheriff's it. department <laughs> use my social security? Number. All right. First of all, if as they are as if if this uh, if the fraudulent people are from the sheriff department of your place, uh, the sheriff officer, for an investigation process, they will simply try if they will try to get the information from your bank might be or from the social security administration or any of the government authorities well, or any. What are they going to do with it, the sheriff? To read, sh listen, what I'm trying to say. Okay. They are the they are the person who can get your information if they want to. So that they can, if they are the one who is doing that, doing this, they disclose all of your information to the fraudulent people. They are with the fraudulent people. That's the reason we got oh, to suspect who you are. Oh, they're crooked. I get it. Okay, I got it. I didn't all know right. they were crooked. So for that reason, bastards. And moreover, we believe the people. Uh, I mean, the, the local I? authorities of your place. The local authorities of your place. Yes. They suspect for us at this moment. Oh, so that's As, what we think it is. Did the previous did the previous agent uh, inform you that we found an apartment raided by the U.S. Marshal? That they inform you about it. Twenty-two the pounds of, of cocaine. Yeah. Yeah. We also found it's several documentation, and the union which has been used for fraudulent activities. Yeah. Right. So the federal court and the duty member, what they did, they spread out the information to the real culprit. All right. They spread out the information to the real culprit, and they ran away from that particular apartment. They ran away. And that's how we came to know that. We Mm -hmm. oh. That's how we came to know that your local authorities are involved in this case, they and that's the reason right. today we are not trying to reach Them you by local history. authorities who have been contacted by the headquarters. Oh, boy. So now we you know about the situation. We that should have given that raise. The okay. They asked so what for a raise, and they wouldn't point give point. it to them, so now they're probably doing this. So, for that reason, as the government got a bad impression about your information and related to your social, yeah. the federal court and the duty member, they want to proceed further with the legal charges by terminating your social security number under your name and related to your social, Mr. Arrow. What if, so I, what if right they now, get my Arrow, new one? Oh, boy. Why we are trying to terminate it, I mean, why we are trying to terminate your social, do you know that? We want to terminate your social so that we can simply track down the real culprit whenever they try to reuse your personal information in future again, all right? Okay. All right. So we can simply track them down. We can let them. Uh, we can let the federal court and the jury member know about it. The jury member. Who's the jury member? The judicial member. Oh, the who will be representing? I mean, I'm talking about the jury member from the federal court. All right. Oh. So after that, they. Okay. Okay, they ahead. wanted us to the. I mean, they want. They wanted us to proceed further with the legal charges under your name and related to your social as your personal information has been involved. So okay. now, when you understood about this case, that what's going on under your name and related to your social, okay. I want to know what's your clear intention and what you're willing to do. You're willing to get a federal lawyer and fight this case uh, against the government, wait, wait minute, or you're willing on, to hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, shut up, get out of here. Stupid cat. Okay, what do you want me to do now? I want to know that you want to cooperate or fight this case against the government. That's uh, that's fight what it. I want what to if, know. What have I got to fight? I didn't do anything. Why have I got to fight? All right, so you're willing to cooperate with the Department of DEA. That's what they're trying to say, Dan. I'll cooperate, but I don't know what I got to do. All right, if you're willing to cooperate, see, at this point of time, I can let you know what the government is exactly trying to do under your information and related to your social, right? Okay. All right, so first of all, uh, I believe the previous agent who spoke with you, I believe he, he verified some of the information in the SS5 form, right? 
SS5. Yeah, he said that. Eric Price yeah. said he was going to okay. fill out the SS5 asset verification form. So, unfortunately, sir, we already found your information from that residence where the U.S. Marshal raided. I repeat, huh. we already, unfortunately, we already found your information from oh, that residence okay. where the U.S. Marshal raided. Okay. So whatever information found from the fraudulent location, every information got red flagged. Red flagged in a sense, they want to proceed further with the legal charges and they want to seize down each and every information which got red flagged. And here... Who got the red flag? I believe... I'm sorry? Who, who, who did they put the red flag on? The U.S. Marshal, when we found the fraudulent information from that residence where the U.S. Marshal yeah, but raided. They flagged it me? was the U.S. Marshal. No, your information, that's oh. one thing. Okay. All right. So after that, whatever information has been red flagged under your name will simply get seized by the government. Okay. So before it gets seized by the government, right now we will terminate your social and we will start finding the real culprit. But as soon as we will terminate your social security number, whatever information has been opened under your name will simply get seized by the government. All right. Not mine. Why just get there. Just by that the guy. Just who are in Texas, right? Not here. Um, Not mine. Uh, I'm sorry to say, Mr. Errol. Your information was found. Your information was also found from that residence where the U.S. Marshal raided. So yes, if we try to proceed further with the legal charges, your information will also get seized by the government too. Maybe because the U.S. Marshal had people, my social security number. And what the U.S. Marshal are the one who investigate all this paperwork. That's so what, what you're they trying say, to say, but they could have it and be using it. Okay, this but could be a giant conspiracy against me. Mm -hmm. that po that's possible yeah so and we believe the people around you we don't know who the real culprit in our uh, real, real culprit is from your place and we don't know that what kind of position they hold over your place in your government yeah. so for that reason we didn't well, form in none of the government or your place that yes we are trying to reach the government i mean yes we are trying to proceed further with the legal charges we didn't inform that at all to the to your people okay See? because good. if they comes to know about it they will simply try to proceed further. I mean, the fraudulent people will run away and we will lose. They'll run the away. Country. They're always and running you, away. And, okay. And so what am I going to do here, suspect, Earl or Ron? All right. If we try to terminate this, uh, I mean, if we, as soon as we terminate the social, your banking stuff will also get seized. I believe you just got a bank from the, uh, what, uh, the, uh, the TD Bank, right? TD Bank, yes. What bank you say? TD Bank. TD or TD? TD. TD, right? Titty, T-I-T-T-Y. I had a spelling for Eric, too. All right. So, as you say, did you have a both checking account and saving account out there, right? Yes. Under your name and under your right. information. Is that right. correct, sir? Yes. Right. So, you know, when the people get involved in a money laundering activities, they're simply not allowed to keep any funds anywhere exceeding $100. I repeat, they're simply not allowed to keep any okay. funds anywhere exceeding $100. But time. if they want okay. to keep any of the funds... If the government wants to keep any of the funds, they can keep it with them. The government don't have any problem with that. But the thing is that in order to keep the funds safe with them, they need to update it to the federal court and to the duty member. The federal Whenever they what? Get involved oh, in you got to slow down, uh, uh, Ron. You're talking too fast. I'm talking about when people get involved in a money laundering and drug trafficking yes. case, they need to they need to update their proper information to the federal court and to the duty member. Okay. And I believe for this. For this particular case paper, you haven't updated none of your information to the government before, right? Oh, uh, when I do my taxes, I guess. I, I don't know. All right. So, for that reason, the federal court and the duty member have filed a case against you. I know for, for whatsoever reason. I don't know either. All right. Okay. So, for that reason, the federal court, if we, uh, I mean, if we go ahead and terminate the social, the first thing which will get seized by the government is your banking stuff. And I believe your banking stuff is the only thing you got under your name and related to your social, right, sir? That's all I have to my name is what I have in the bank. That's all I have to my name. So, for that reason, the federal court and the duty member, they are asking you that, see, before we, before, uh, we need your banking stuff details too, but not from you, from your bank people. Okay. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you want that, their number? Uh, no, no, no. I don't want none of the number. If we will try to investigate it, we will try to get the information in our way. Okay. All right? All okay. right. Okay. So, right now, see, I believe you got a certain amount, a small fund, a small couple of dollars with you, I believe, or a $100, right? 
hundred dollars where? In your banking stuff related to you and under your name. In my bank, I got, I told Eric yeah. I got two hundred in checking and five hundred in savings. Yeah. If we go ahead and terminate your social number, whatever funds is uh, you got in your banking will get seized by the government. So for that reason, the federal court and the duty member they are asking you that uh, will you be able to keep your own money safe with you before we go ahead and try to proceed further with the legal charges? Yeah. What have I got to do? All right. You, well, what the government wants, see, the government, if you are not the one who's doing this, though we need your banking stuff, I mean your banking information where we can keep an eye on you and on your information, and that will be done by us. You don't worry about it. We're not asking for any kind of illegal question. I mean, okay. we're not asking for any kind of illegal right. question, like give me your account number or anything like that. All, All right. right. Okay. Okay. But the federal court, the federal court and the Judy member, what they're trying to do is that uh, they want to terminate the social and seize down everything. So for that reason, they're asking you, will you be able to keep this fund safe with you, whatever you got in your banking, so that you can keep it safe with you before it gets seized by the government? So, so. I got to go take this money out of the bank? Is that what you're asking? Uh, if you want to keep it safe, see, when people get involved in a money laundering, they're not allowed to keep the funds nor even in their banking nor in cash with them. I repeat, they're not allowed ah. to keep the funds, nor even their banking, nor in cash with them. Well, how do I so keep in, it? What I'm if, trying I can't, to if, I can't, if I can't keep it yeah. in cash, how do I keep it? I don't understand. All right. If you want to keep the funds, there is a particular procedure which you have to go through where you have to secure your own funds. Okay. Basically, I'll secure you have my to own funds. I'll just, I'll just go get it, it, right? I'll out. just go take it out. Right now, right. Listen, I will be. I will be there with you to guide you, Errol. Don't okay. worry, all right. I want okay. you to be. With, I want you I'm to be with me but okay. each time, and no. I'm gonna explain you each and every step. Don't worry about okay. it, Errol. Okay. If you're willing to keep it safe. Okay. But right now, I want to know we are connected in your cell phone or in your home line number. My cell phone. Cell phone. Uh, do you even have a? Uh, do you even have a car with you? Yeah, I told um, Eric. Price, I got a 2017 mm -hmm. Plymouth Volare. No problem. So, do you it's know what Corinthian. car we it's found? Got, did Eric got... told you about it? Huh? Did Eric told you about it? What car did we found in the state of Texas? No, he didn't tell me what kind of car was in Texas. I hope it wasn't a Plymouth Volare. Toyota Corolla 2016 model. Oh, Toyota Corolla. No. See, my Volare's got Corinthian leather. All right. So, so. right now, see. If you're willing to keep your own money safe I want to with keep you, my own money, as, we, yes. as, this is a, as this is a time sensitive case, okay. uh, what I want you to do, I want you to get dressed up right now, right away. I, am I will dressed. be holding the line. What All are right. You talking so you about? don't need to be get. No, you can just grab a. You can just grab a. Grab your shoes. Get on your shoes. Grab so your jacket. So bring all my all shoes with me. If you need to go out. Well, that's what I'm saying. You want to grab, you have to grab your I'll cell bring phone, all my glasses too, okay? Yeah, you can do that, yeah. Bring okay. your glasses too. Okay. And once you're ready, you can come back to the line and then update me that, yes, Preston, I'm ready and I'm, yes, I'm about Preston. to leave. Put it up. Preston, I thought your name was Ron Parker. My middle name is Preston. Oh, you go by your middle name, Preston, I see. Well, I well, love I'm ready, I'm already because... dressed. I got my shoes on. What do you think I'm sitting here with? You, just... you can call me. You can call me with what whatever name you like, like Ron Preston. How about if I call you Scammer? Can I call you that? Fuck you. You scamming you can bastard. Call that. Yeah. You scamming fucker going to take my last $700? Huh? You fucker, he hangs right up.